Hi, I'm Chris from Immersive Interactive and I'd like to introduce um, our, one of our immersive spaces. So this is our demonstration unit to basically um, present what we're all about in terms of an immersive space and immersive environment. So what we're doing here is we're, we're projecting um, 360 environments around the students to create different um, experiences and environments. So the idea is we've got um, full 360 motion video, surround sound and other environmental effects as well, such as scent, wind, etc. The idea being is it's not um, in situ simulation, but it's the next best, best thing, trying to create it with as much realism as possible. So it's a fully multi-sensory learning experience. It's all controlled via the tablet, so from the um, teacher or, or the instructor's point of view, it's very easy just to change the scenario. We've got a full library of hospital scenes, pre-hospital scenes, and basically anywhere you'd like to go. One sort of popular thing is domestic environments, different sorts, different types of ha um, environments. It's used to um, allow the students to pick up visual cues and visual clues that they can be put in the environment. For example, this might be an elderly person's home. How do they then respond to the patient within that environment? So it's very interesting to see how the environment can shape the learning. Then if we, for example, to switch it to more of a bed sit, you know, there's a completely different lifestyle story going on here. Maybe there's drugs, there's alcohol, things like that for the students to look out for. We can also do outdoor environments, so whether that's places of work, for example, a building site, it could be a fall from heights, and again, some of the visual elements can play into that simulation in terms of maybe how high was the fall from, is there any sort of, what have they fallen onto? So by bringing the environment into it, you can really start to enhance the simulation. Now up on an interactive scene, and this is where it can flip from being just, a, just an environment, just a simulation, to be more of a learning experience. So the, the, the um, teachers or the instructors are able to, first of all, film their own footage, so we provide a 360 camera so they can capture their own hospital, their own teaching environments. But then it's a simple piece of software where they can then augment that with what we call hotspots. So if I touch on there, we can bring down a video, for example. So at any relevant point during the, the um, simulation, if you'd like to bring in more information, either they can do it or the students can reach out and look for more information and, and help. If you'd just like to look on this side, so we can, some examples of that, they can be x-rays, which may be relevant to the particular scenario that's going on. It could be background images, things that they might want um, the students to point out various features. Or you can bring in facts and figures, gas and air, details like that, which basically sets up the scenario so that everyone's on the same context. It's about creating that context so everyone you know is aware that they're on the same scenario.